Today I'm going to talk to you about the T-Series Combine. This Combine is designed and built in Zweibrück in Germany. The brand new T-Series was launched in 2015. This Combine was redesigned from the ground up and today I'm going to take you through all those changes and more. The five Walker Combines, they have a body width of 1.4 metres wide. The six Walker Combines have a body width of 1.67 metres wide. With both combines, we carry this body width through the whole of the combine, not narrowing up at any points. Another key design feature of this feeder house is the length. The length is very important for any combine because not only does it improve visibility towards the header for the operator, in our combine, this feeder house starts the pre-threshing process. On this feeder house, we also have an 80 horsepower mechanical reverser. This transmits huge amount of power back towards the header to reverse out the biggest of lumps. We've uprated the slip clutch. The slip clutch, which is located at the top of the feeder house, is now 900 newton meters. A design feature that drastically improves the performance of this combine in downcrop conditions is the fore and aft tilt mechanism on this combine. This front face plate can be altered by plus or minus nine degrees. The angle is key because this allows the customer to pick up all of that downcrop. This manual fore and aft adjustment comes as standard on any T-Series combine. The multi-dock not only conveniently connects the hydraulics and the electrics of the header, it engages the header locking pins as well. The feeder house is actually positioned closer to the drum than ever before. There's a couple of reasons for that. The main reason is we've got a new concave underneath, which I'll come to in a minute, but the other reason is, is the closer we can get the top sprocket of the feeder house to the threshing drum, the less dead space we have. So we want to continue that pre-threshing technique as we talked about all the way up the feeder house and have a very smooth transition into the threshing drum. Following a smooth transition of the crop from the feeder house into the drum, the first part it reaches is this new concave. Now this concave has changed dramatically into the new T-Series. It now has a booster bar that's incorporated into the concave itself. The booster bar is there for increase in threshing. It gives 10% more threshing performance in those tough threshing crops. But if you're combining oilseed rape or beans, for example, the booster bar isn't required. Therefore, we've developed a way to get that booster bar out of the way of the crop flow without actually having to remove it from the combine. To do this, you would access the booster bar through the stone trap of the combine. Reaching into the stone trap with a 24 millimeter socket, you can wind the booster bar in and out depending on the crop that you're going to harvest. Another new feature on the T-Series threshing system is the sectional concave. The sectional concave allows you to change the makeup of the concave in the first three sections. This option can be very useful in crops like barley, where it's tough threshing and typically we run a universal concave in our walker combines. We run a universal concave because we want that concave to do all crops, but it's not optimized for tough threshing crops like barley. Therefore, we have the ability to remove three universal sections and replace that with three small wire sections, thus giving us up to 10% more threshing capacity in those tough threshing conditions. But that's not all that's changed on our concave. The wrap angle has increased to 124 degrees. That's mainly down to the redesign of the overshot beater behind it and the tangential separator further on. The threshing drum itself is 660 mil in diameter and it has 10 brass bars. At all times, there is four brass bars in contact with the concave, ensuring high degrees of threshing capacity. Not only have we increased the threshing performance of the T-Series combine, we've also increased the separation performance, but that starts at the very front. The unique thing about the T-Series is its crop flow. As the crop passes into the threshing concave, it goes up and over and into the overshot beater. This overshot beater has increased in diameter. It's increased in diameter to help with increased productivity, so increased crop going through the combine, but also allowing us to increase the wrap angle of the threshing concave and also the area of the separator concave further back. The overshot beater is designed to start the separation process. The crop passes over the top and down and into the separator concave. In the process of the crop 
carring over the top of the overshot beater, it starts to open up in preparation for the separation phase. This is where the T-Series gets its name from. It's the tangential separator. This has now increased from 660 millimetres to a huge 800 millimetres. The rotor is massive. This is where we're getting that extra performance, that extra 20% in separation performance is mainly coming from this area here. The T separator is not trying to thresh it, it's trying to comb through the straw and separate that grain out. The design of the separator concave has been changed. It's now got larger openings. These larger openings allow more grain to pass through and can cope with the larger productivity that's possible in a T-series combine. We are seeing around 20% extra performance over an older T-series model. Not only has the separator grate changed its design, it's also had to get larger. That's because the T-separator drum itself has increased its diameter from 660 up to 800 millimetres. This increase in diameter has caused the T-separator grate to get longer. That means we've got more time to separate that crop. And this is the stage where it's in active separation mode. We're actively trying to get that grain out of the crop. The walkers is passive separation. So the more we can do in this area, the less the walkers have to do, as they're far more inefficient at getting grain out of the crop than a T-separator drum is. The T-separator drum has two speeds. The two speeds can be tailored towards different crop types, i.e. fast speed for small grains, slow speed for beans and the like. Also, the T-separator concave can have two positions. It's upward positions, typically used in small grains, or it's lower position for crops like oilseed rape or beans. This gives this combine a huge amount of flexibility and ensures maximum performance in all crops. And the changes don't stop there. This is the rear discharge beater and the diameter is now 400 millimetres. We've not only changed the design slightly, but we've also changed the concave design underneath it. Therefore giving us up to 10% extra separation performance than a model year 17 or 18 T-series. These changes are fundamental and we've made huge gains in this combine throughout the last six years. So to recap the active separation area, I want to share some numbers with you. These numbers are industry leading. In a five walker combine, we have 3.3 meters squared of active separation area. In a six walker combine, we have four meters squared of active separation area. Now I want to talk to you about the walkers. There's not been fundamental changes in this area, but there's been changes nonetheless. One of the changes is that the walkers are now steeper. This ensures that the crop stays on them for longer, increasing the chance of separating that grain out. Another change is that they're slightly longer. So not only are they steeper, but they're longer and thus giving us even more separation performance than we had before. They still remain at 150 RPM, so they operate in the 150 RPM, and they have the same 150 millimetre throw. They're also still seven steps. So even though they're slightly longer and they're slightly steeper, we still retain the seven steps walkers. To cope with those changes in angle and length, the straw hood has also been redesigned. This ensures that with the increased productivity and also crop volume possible in a new T-series, there will be no chance of plugging as it comes off the back of the walkers. The T-series combines can be fitted with a wide selection of tyres. Also, some models can even be fitted with tracks. This not only reduces transport width in certain scenarios, but also minimises ground compaction. The T-series can be specified with two types of transmission. The push button shift transmission, which is standard, or the top of the range pro drive transmission. Hillmaster can operate in slopes up to 22%. It aims to keep the whole combine level, ensuring maximum threshing performance and cleaning performance, even in the toughest of conditions. Moving around the combine, let's have a look under the panels. The new T-Series has one of the largest cleaning shoes on the market. To install this new cleaning shoe, we had to totally redesign this combine. We had to develop a new chassis that allowed us to get the cleaning shoe, which is now 12% longer, into this combine. 
This new cleaning shoe is called the Dynaflow Plus. The Dynaflow Plus retains a lot of features that is well known to John Deere combines. Like augers in the prep pan, these augers capture the grain and then transport it from the very start to the very end under full control. This enables us to fully utilise the increased area of the Dynaflow Plus cleaning shoe. Another key feature of this cleaning shoe is the barrel type fan. Not only does this increase the airflow dramatically within the cleaning shoe, but, al but also provides stability. The stability allows the customer to easily set up the cleaning shoe and ensure he gets the maximum performance out of it at all times during the day. This has resulted in new cleaning shoe areas. In a six walker, it is 6.3 meters squared and in a five walker, 5.2, both industry leading figures. The return system used to be the limiting factor of any walker combine, but due to this new cleaning shoe, we're able to get more performance out of a walker combine than ever before. The T-Series was designed with low cost of operation in mind. Pulleys and belts have been kept to a minimum. Flexible hoses have been used where we can. Carrying on with the theme of low maintenance, on a Level Land T-Series, there is only one daily grease point. Even on a Hillmaster combine, we've made it easier than ever to grease the Hillmaster pins. In the John Deere engine bay, we've got great access to all the key servicing components. Changing filters, checking oil levels is all made easier because of the arrangement in the engine bay. All of the engines installed in T-Series combines comply with stage five regulations. The horsepowers range from just over 300 to the T670, which has a maximum horsepower of 455 horsepower. We offer two different types of chopper on the T-Series combine the fine cut and the extra fine cut. On the extra fine cut, we employ up to 108 rotating knives and 68 counter knives to achieve one of the best chop qualities in the industry, even with a walker combine. A nice addition to the rear of the combine, which makes hooking the header on easier than ever before, is this camera that's mounted above the hitch. This is one of four cameras that can be specified on the T-Series combine. The grain handling system on a T-Series combine is capable of unloading up to 125 litres per second. Grain tank sizes start on the T550 at 8,000 litres and finish on the T670 which can hold up to 11,000 litres. Possible unloading auger lengths are 17 foot, 18 and a half foot and the largest 21 and a half foot which comes in either rigid or folding. Another great story in this combine is the crop to crop changeover process. In the new T-Series, we've made this easier than ever before to ensure that you're getting the maximum out of your combine, even if you're combining different crops on the same day. For example, when changing from wheat to all-seed rape, there are a few adjustments you need to make in the combine. This is made easier than ever before to make those changes on the separation system. The two things that you need to focus on is the T-separator grate and drop it into its lower position. This is done like this. Okay, the next part of the separation system you need to look at is the rear discharge beater. This, we need to drop the concave onto its lower position as well. And this is done like this. All very simple and very easy to do. Now I'd like to talk to you about the cab on the T-Series Combine. We offer two different spec levels, the Deluxe or the Premium. From model year 20, the T550 could be specced with the premium cab. This allowed a higher level of spec on a lower output T-Series combine, something that customers had always wanted. In the T660, the deluxe cab is also available. Key features of this cab is the superb visibility, whether it's to the very edges of a 35 foot header or the top of a 21 and a half foot unloading auger on the left, you can see it all. The T-Series can be specified with many different display options, from the basic 7-inch command centre all the way up to the 2630 and couple it with the Gen 4 4640 standalone display, thus giving the operator the ultimate in documentation and file management. Moving on to the Hydro Handle. This is the advanced Hydro Handle. Not only does it have all of the functions you'd need for the, to operate the combine, but it also has extra functions as well to operate the X header, for example, and other, other devices. The armrest has all of its controls ergonomically laid out, ensuring 
all of the key functions are on the initial armrest with your hotkeys and access to machine settings on this outer armrest here. Also things like climate control are available and a Bluetooth premium radio. In terms of machine settings, they're all clustered over here on this PDU. Everything from fuel levels to power levels to losses on the walkers and clean and shoe is found over there. Yield monitoring is available on the T-Series combines. When using a 2630 display or a Gen 4 4640 standalone, customers are able to collect that really important data. Once customers have collected that data, they've got two options. They can either export it manually using a USB stick or more commonly use wireless data transfer. Wireless data transfer works by packaging that data up and sending it back to your office through the mobile data network. This not only eliminates the chance for losing data, but is also happening without any extra effort. In conclusion, the new T-Series gives the customer the best of both worlds. Due to its active separation, rotary type performance, but also couple that with conventional type straw quality. So if you're in the market for a combine that does this, then please look no further than your new John Deere T-Series.